Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something that I don't think I've done before. I don't think I've ever done a Sephora event recommendation video. These are the only two products that I've tried from ColorWow and I love them both. This is the extra large uh, bombshell volumizer. Oh yeah, especially if you blow dry your hair. Woo, you're gonna get some volume. And also raise the root. I typically use the two together. So I'll put this through my hair while my hair is wet. Then I'll blow dry my hair to about halfway not wet. <laughs> and then I'll come with this stuff and kind of work it in at the roots. And we dog, I love this stuff. It's like my OG, I'm probably always gonna have this cause I love it if nothing else for the smell. But you know, I really do love these products as well. This is the Caviar Anti-Aging. This is a big old long name, but it is a heat protector. And then also the Caviar Anti-Aging Mousse. Oh, I can't highly recommend enough better, not younger. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use from them. This is good stuff, a misconception about this brand. You don't have to be gray to use the brand. It's for all people who have hair that is aging. These are the must-haves from Clarins. This is the double serum. I use this every morning. I put this stuff on after I've put my serums on. This goes on before my moisturizer, which a um, lot of mornings is my sunscreen that you can't buy at Sephora. Let me take the opportunity to say, that's why I'm not talking about sunscreen is because I've tried all kinds of sunscreens in 2021 and mm, <laughs> there's not anything at Sephora that I would say, Gotta have that. Anyway, the point is that this goes on, you know, after my serums in the morning. I love it. This actually lets you choose if you want like one teeny little drop or a big drop. And I actually do two big drops <laughs> and press it in to my face and move slowly out. I really massage my face with that stuff. And then there's this. Ha! <laughs> this is the Total Eye Lift. Yeah, if I could afford to do it, I would do this twice a day, but I can only afford to do this once a day. <laughs> this stuff here makes the wrinkles go away, totally gives you a lifted eye. It, well, total eye lift, that's why they call it that. This stuff is magic. I had like 20 things from Fresh in this category. I love Fresh. I'm just gonna do a blanket here and say, anything in the rose line. There was a time when I got this and took it right back because this grossed me out. I still don't like look at it. There's actual real rose petals in this stuff. And so I try not to look at it. I just shake it up and pour it in my hand, <laughs> put it on my face. That is a toner. This one here is like one of my absolute favorites. It's partitioned and you use them together. So the first step that you put on is a serum. It's like a a cream gel serum that you put on. And once that's absorbed in, which doesn't take long, then you use the other side, which is a water cream. And this also, I have to get a new one because as you can see, it's pretty much gone. This is the Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Put this on first thing in the morning and then when you get ready to put on your makeup, your lips are ready, your lips are juicy. I've been able to get the fronts of my brows back with the Grande Brow. Not telling you to do it, just saying this is my lash serum. I highly recommend, if you're gonna use a lash serum or brow serum, I recommend Grande Lash. Heba, are you watching? Anytime, baby, you wanna send me some more. No, just kidding, don't do that. Just kidding, don't do that. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> Heba sent me one of these one time because she knew I loved it. Oh my gosh, it's almost gone. Yes, ma'am. I need to get some more, and so do you. There's certain brands I absolutely love, and you're gonna hear a lot about them. This doesn't get talked about a lot, but it is their toner, and comfort is in the name, cause it is. <laughs> this is like a lotion. Just put a little bit, I mean, I don't waste it on cotton. I just put a tiny dab, and you don't need a lot of this and then wipe it on my face. Do we even need to talk about it? Okay, you knew I was gonna bring up Genifique. It's what the whole holiday season for me is about. Picking up the Genifique. Love it, it's good mixed with foundations, like a foundation that you would normally wear in the summer because you have a little bit more oil, but you're kind of dry in the winter. If you mix some of your Genifique with it, 
It is really good. I think every mature woman needs this product. Best makeup remover in the whole world. Even if this is not the way that you normally take off your eye makeup, you need this as a cleanup for everything else you did, okay? Just take a Q-tip. Q-tip fits perfect in this hole. Take a Q-tip of this stuff, run it through your lashes, and just make sure that you got everything out of there, especially if you use a serum on your lashes. One of my favorite primers is this one. I don't have it here. I ran out. I've got a lot of primers, so I haven't rebought it yet. But this, I love this stuff. And the little tiny flecks of gold in it really do make your face look luminous and radiant. I love this one the most by Lancome. It is La Base Pro. Fills in my pores, makes my makeup glide on, and it holds it all day. The last two are both from Laura Mercier. This one here I did purchase, and this one was sent to me. This is the Pure Canvas Primer. It is more of a, like a moisturizer kind of primer. So it starts out moisturizing, and the more that you rub it in, the more it gets that grip to it and holds on to your makeup really nice. This one here is the Pure Canvas Power Primer. It's a supercharged essence also. It comes in a dropper. Look at that. Whoa. Talk about making your skin feel hydrated. It would be the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. Like, <laughs> that's why. It's an aerosol mist. You want the finest application? This is where you go. If you like that Morphe setting spray mist and you're looking for a replacement for that because you just don't like Morphe, <laughs> get this, all right? Now, Huda makes one, but oh my gosh, you might as well take a bottle of perfume and spray it on your face. Woo! This stuff here is excellent. But my favorite is by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Flawless Setting Spray. It says party all night, stay all day. This stuff is wonderful. I use it before my makeup. Primarily, I save it for finishing my makeup. And this one actually does, I think, kick back the powder a little bit. So I love this stuff right here the most. When I talk to you about these foundations, I'm talking to you about normal to dry skin. So I think that this is a really good foundation for my skin, which is normal to dry. It used to be normal. <laughs> it's a story for another day. But anyway, <laughs> this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, absolute perfection. Mine is in 3.75. And there you go. Look at that. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous looks just like your skin. Holy schmoly, I wanted to redo my makeup and like put this on. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's Lancome's Tint Adol. They say it's full coverage. I think it's medium to full coverage, depending on how you apply it. But this has more of a matte finish to it. And I love that. But like I said, in the winter, I have to add something to it because I am a powder queen. <laughs> And in the wintertime, powder with this, woo, really dry. This is kind of a must. It will let you customize. So this side over here is more yellow, and this side here is more pink undertone. I use this side the most, but when you feel it, you're like, oh, it's like old, it's like dried up, and it's not, okay? It's meant to be this consistency because this stuff sticks. This has stick and will stay in place. So, I mean, it's totally the wrong shade for my hand, but like this age spot over here, if I'm really serious about it not showing, I just dab it with this stuff here and it going on there and staying. But I don't use this under my eyes because no, it's not emollient enough, but on my face, yes. Then we have the Power Fabric by Armani. Absolutely beautiful. You got to take that right under your eyes and it just, for some reason, this stuff doesn't get into your wrinkles as bad as other concealers would. And my holy grail goes to a long comb. This is the best stuff and it's the best concealer that Longcomb's ever put out. They put out some good concealers, but this one is the best one that they've ever put out. And this one is in 090. Now I have three of these in backup 
Okay, because I'm quite serious about this. Definitely, I do have to set it. It will crease a little if I don't, but you don't need very much of this, and it's totally natural looking, very age friendly. I don't have this one here anymore, uh, but I loved it when I had it because of the sponge on it. Don't tear the sponge off. If you do, you'll ruin it. <laughs> It's not Maybelline, okay? You can't tear the sponge off and get by with that. There's something about this formulation and that sponge and stuff. But anyway, the way that thing is shaped, it will let you just like click up and then go boop, boop on the inside of your eye. Pat it right in here and I'll come right across here and onto the other side. It's just a beautiful uh, concealer. Danessa Myricks. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is a cream contour. You open this up, it's got a nice mirror in here. And then, of course, this cream contour that I just think it's a little easier to control because you can blend it out. And then if you take your powder then and go over it, it kind of makes it more seamless. And since we're talking about this brand, I also like her bronzer and it's also cream. And I can get by with using this formula over the top of my powder or under my powder, either one. I like that because I, I usually don't go for cream products. I usually go for powder products and I forget frequently and go ahead and set my makeup and then I'm like, darn, I got a cream product to put on now. And this one here works for me over the top of powder even. <laughs> and my favorite bronzers, can't help it. Charlotte Tilbury gets this all the way. The packaging on Charlotte's stuff and what's inside is like magic. I really, really love this. But if I want a little less radiance, I go with this. I now, really love that you can buy a refill for this, even though my palette is getting a little banged up. I can save some money by just buying the refill. Let me tell you, I can actually go ham with this because it is the light one. It probably would be better if I got the next one up because I wouldn't have to use as much of it. But I love the look that this thing gives. It is my favorite. Charlotte Tilbury does bronzers really well. I love Hourglass Ambient Light Blushes. Mm, Hourglass does this luminous look. I forgot how much I loved this until I got it out for my stash stuff. You know, I got it out again and I'm like, oh, I remember. I remember why I always would use you every single day. And coming up in the powders too, because make no mistake about it, this luminosity that I have on my skin today is because of Hourglass. This or Rockateur. I'm currently out of the single of Rockateur. I have a palette that has it in it, but oh, I love these. Obviously, I like the little blush brush that comes with these. I, I think these are cool. I <laughs> mean, So I really like that. So I highly recommend that you try, if you never have, Benefits, California or Rockateur. These are the Laura Mercier Color Infusion Blushes and I have them all thanks to Laura Mercier. But the one I'm showing you, the one that is my favorite, is this one <laughs> and I bought that one. <laughs> okay, so this is Sangria. Ooh, these blushes are so natural looking, so pretty. They blend out so easy. The cream ones are beautiful as well. Laura Mercier can do no wrong when it comes to blush. You're not going to be making a mistake if you get a Laura Mercier blush. I gotta tell you, I like them more than Lancome. <laughs> I use this all together, okay? This one here is called First Love. These are beautiful. For powder that's in the compact like this and these blushes is be careful. They are sleek and they are slippery, and you will drop them on the floor and they will bust. And that is not a pretty situation. <laughs> so, ooh, these are so birdy. You know, I go back and forth, back and forth between Laura Mercier and Lancome, Laura Mercier and Lancome. And I know that the Laura Mercier powder, their regular setting powder is a cult favorite. Everybody loves it. But I, I just kind of want to know, for those people who say that, have you tried this? Have you tried this Long Time No Shine from Lancome? I like it just a little better. 
than the Laura Mercier, which is a great powder. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic powder, but I like this one just a little bit more. I think it's a mature woman's friend. Okay, this stuff, if you just want to dust it on your face with a brush, okay. But if you're trying to erase pores, you guys have seen me do this. Up close and personal, you have seen me erase my pores with this powder. Mm, I love it. This is the powder I'm wearing today. It's same as their blush. It's from Hourglass. Same as the blush. It's one of these things that, you know, you go, I haven't used you in a long time. Let me pull you back out again and use you. And then you do and you go, oh, why did I quit doing that? I buff this all over my face and this is what happens. So if you like this look, Baby, that's Hourglass. Love the Longcomb Absolute powders, which you cannot buy at Sephora, but you can get really close to those powders with Laura Mercier's new light catchers. And I've got this here for a reason, <laughs> okay? But this is, in my opinion, so, so close. Closer than Jacqueline Hill could ever get. <laughs> Jacqueline does make a, a nice, illuminating powder, loose powder, but it's a little too bright. Okay, which that's fine for Jacqueline. She's the highlight queen, right? But for almost 60, no, nah, I don't want that much. I just want to look like I have healthy, luminous skin, not that I'm wearing a highlighter all over my face. This is so darn close to this, it's not funny. And you get a lot more product in here and it's like half the price. They have it in three shades and this was sent to me. No, wait, yes, this was sent to me. I bought one not knowing they were gonna send this and I put it in a giveaway, okay? So this one here they sent to me and I'm gonna tell you, if you pick this up, do yourself a solid and pick this up too. This works the very best if you dip this powder puff in there and buff it into your face. The last one that I have to show you is by NARS and I use this only under my eyes. I mean, it could go all over your face, but this is called Crystal. It's translucent, light reflecting, setting powder, and you can do this on here and you go, where is it? Is it there? This stuff must be hard panned or something because it seems like you're not getting anything off here. Oh, you are, but you're getting just the right amount to put under your eyes. So if you take a fluffy brush and you just go over this and kind of tap it on the back of your hand, you're going to think there's nothing in the brush and then come under your eyes. I swear, this is the best stuff. Now, because I use the kind of powders that I've been talking to you about, it's really not necessary for me to use an actual highlighter to dust on my cheeks, but I do occasionally. And so there's really only four that I love. And one of them, it's not a powder. It is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. And I will do this before I powder, after I've done my foundation, or sometimes just right under my foundation. And just dab that right on my the high points of my cheekbones and this. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Yep. YSL, the YSL Touche Clot 3D All Over Glow. I don't think that you can really get too overdone with this. I'm gonna put that right there with a brush. Dior. Oh gosh, this, these nude luminizers. Oh, yeah. well, I know that sounded really stupid, right? But look at this. And if you put this on a brush and you just dust your cheeks with it, you won't be sorry. You, you, these, oh, these are so special. But This year, more than any other for me, was all about the quick. So the biggest palette that I have to tell you about today is Pat McGrath. If you're going to do this, do it while it's on sale. So of the five that I have, this is the one that I would recommend the most. I think that this palette here you can get stunning and every day, every day. So if I was going to tell you for the masses, I would say get Divine Rose. Today's eye look. This is really quick, like took me two minutes to do this eye look because I used Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. And when we're talking about eyeshadow sticks, I think that Laura's queen, isn't she? I think you should have two. You need a dark one, you need a light one, I think, if you're gonna do this. What I did was I took cobblestone and it just come all over my lid and, you know, smeared it out. And then I took intense moonlight and put that over the top of it and called it done. There's my eye look. 
The next one would be Charlotte Tilbury in Exaggerize. These are stunning and gorgeous. I have to tell you, when I wear this stuff, all these eyeshadows I'm talking to you about, these are when I get the most compliments. I guess my favorite little palette that I own is the Mini Retro. So I like this one here. Guess why? Maybe because there's green tinted shadows in there. And the reason I like these little ones isn't because they're cheaper, which they are. They're only $25 each, which sounds insane. $25. But you know what I mean? Compared to her other palettes, this, if you want to try Natasha Denona, this is the way to go. But the reason that I love these is because I typically use about five shades in an eyeshadow look. And here you go. Guessing is over. That's why I like these little palettes. They are designed to all go together. I don't typically get in your guys' face over Tom Ford. <laughs> but this one here, Tom Ford's new dip. Every single time I have this on, people notice. This is foolproof. You can actually do the look with these. <laughs> and you should be able to do that for $88. I've got a few of these. But this one's my very favorite. And like I said, I wouldn't normally get up here because I'm more of a high-end girl, not a luxury girl. I wouldn't normally get up here and go, okay, here comes a big 10 to 20% off sale. You need to buy Tom Ford. Because I'm always looking for the eyeliner that I can truly put in my tight line and waterline and it won't leave. All right, now I'm not talking about through the lashes. I mean actually in the waterline and the tight line and it doesn't leave. I've only found two eyeliners that you can buy at Sephora uh, that actually fit that bill. The first one is by Patrick Starr's One Size Line and this here is in Point Made. It's black. It is one that you sharpen and this actually will go into my water and tight line and stay there and also Killer Cajol by Too Faced. This one also is in black. Why don't you compare the two? Too Faced is a little blacker than Point Made, but those aren't the only kinds of eyeliners that I use. I'm just saying for you to be a stellar eyeliner for me, this is, this is what I need. But if I'm wanting something like that's really different, that's special, and it doesn't have to go in my water or tight line, but can go through my lashes or even under eyeshadow to enhance a look, then I will wait for a sale and I will pick up Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On pencils. First of all, they do just glide on. And I don't know that the camera's even gonna do that justice. I love this and they're so creamy and stuff, but they really don't stay in your waterline or tight line, so know that. You're gonna be doing this like for pops of color underneath your eyes or on top as an eyeliner, but not in the waterline. But more often than not, I'll go for a Sephora collection because they have such a wide selection and all kinds of colors. Surfer Babe is extraordinary, look. But you might find another one, look at that blue, so beautiful. You might find another shade that's close to it, but they tend to discontinue their shades a lot. I'm taking a Huggies wipe and see those wiped off, but these, these two did not. I'm really, really, mm. And you know, the Too Faced is still there, but ow, I'm like hurting myself trying to get the Patrick star off. I tell you about this all the time. If you're serious, about your brow gel, holding your brows in place so that they don't move. Don't mess with anything else but Benefit's 24-hour brow setter. And this stuff will dry down and not move. I promise you, you will have to wash it out. If you have problems doing your brows, this product will help you to not get too overdone. You put this through first instead of after, and then it will restrict how much brow product you can actually come into your brows with. This is called Monzer Big for a reason. It gives you a big, wow, eyelash. If you have any mascara except for Monzer Big, don't do this under Monzer Big or you'll be looking like Tammy Faye. This is Lancome's Sills Booster XL, the best. I'm just telling you it is the best lash booster there is. Long Combs 
Uh, there's, I'm trying to hide this. My brush broke off. They have a brush on the end of it. Um, and it is the Layless Lipstick. <laughs> it's, there you go. That's Amendale. Both of these brands, the formulas, are a drier lip liner. They're not dry dry, but, you know, you, you don't have to worry about you're going to go <laughs> across your face because it slid off. They have good staying power, and I think that they look really spectacular under lipstick. And the other is Laura Mercier, and this one is, we'll say macaroon. And there you go. Now, Laura Mercier did send this to me, but, you know, using it is how I know that, yeah, these are the two lip liners for this girl. Juicy Tubes by Lancome are the best gloss, and this is why. It's got a stick, like it grabs your lips and hangs on, but it's not sticky. This one probably wasn't a good choice because this is birthday cake or something birthday confetti, and there's glitter in this. Okay, so it sticks on. In fact, you can use a Juicy Tube at night as a lip mask. It won't go anywhere. <laughs> and it's hygienic. So there's no doe foot going into it and coming on your mouth and introducing lipstick back into the tube or germs. This is a plastic. You can wipe it, sanitize it, whatever. The product stays in here. It never changes colors. And I just think that the best lip gloss is from Lancome. Natasha Denona, I need a nude collection. And my favorite is in Avriel, right there. Mwah! This is beautiful. It has a magnetic cap on it. Love it. Love you long time. NARS Audacious lipsticks always do it for me. This one is in Anna. I love it. Oh! <laughs> Anna, for the longest time, was my holy grail lipstick. It, cosmetics, the pillow lipstick. I forget what this is called, pillow something. This one is in wish list. These feel, look at that. These feel magnificent on your mouth. You'll never mistake this tube for something else. It's a click closure, but it's good and strong, so you're not gonna lose the cap. In fact, some could argue, that this would hold better than the magnetic closure. You knew I was gonna say long comb, right? <laughs> okay, so I wanna say this to my mature ladies out there who have said to me that all these high-end lipsticks don't work for me. They're like too dry for them, even if they're not supposed to be. I wanna introduce you to long comb's absolute lipsticks, not the color design, which both are beautiful, but the absolute lipsticks, I think that you should try this. With those, you push on the rose and it pops out at the bottom. So you're not gonna lose this cap in your purse. This one is called Exotic Orchid. Okay, so there's Exotic Orchid. It's Charlotte Tilbury, the kissing lipsticks. And I do believe this one's Pillow Talk. I think this rides that line of not too moisturizing, not too dry. It's just a perfect formula. I love these Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Yeah, I'm interested in what you have to say. What do you guys think? What are you gonna pick up? Anything? Let me know below. I really wanna know that. You'll always be the best part of the Fritzy family to me. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. I really hate filming when it's dark outside because you know, all these lights on in here, I always, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Ain't got no privacy. <laughs> look at this ridiculous straw. Doesn't this look like it should like be, I don't know, on the good ship lollipop, which is, did you hear my stomach? It goes, another country heard from it. When I say country, I mean, yeah, cause it's getting as big as a country. So, shut up! Every rose has its thorn, yeah. It's just like every night has its dawn. I'm in the wrong key. <laughs> hey, you know what? Do something about this doe foot, okay? Because, oh God, there's a hair. Oh, there's a hair on there. Get it off, get it off. Get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. Ooh, is it on the mic? This year I just, and this year I discovered, oh no, no, Lord help me, look what
what I did. It looked like I got poop on my thumb now. Thanks. See, that's just like glass. 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 Hey, Brittany, I want you to audition me for your tour because I can go glass. Glass. Just like you. Oops. I did it again. Got lipstick on my finger and now it's all smeared. If you have problems doing your brows, this product 